these migrants literally running into the Yuma sector. Possible because when the sun goes down, the activity at the border goes up. This whole group crossing after 2 a.m. in the Yuma sector and waiting to be loaded onto this bus. They say situations like this, migrants making distress calls, then calling 911 or hitting a beacon are just happening more and more. 211,000 total apprehensions since October 1st. That's more than the entire population of Yuma County. And I am standing in one of the over 50 gaps in the Yuma sector border wall. Piles of unused border fence. It has been sitting here since President Biden's first day in office. But if I just take a couple steps across state lines, the Chevron in Sidewinder, California, charging $6.79 a gallon. What about sunscreen? Do we put on sunscreen when mom asks us to or not? I never put on sunscreen. <laughs> For a reminder for you kids at home, it is important to put that sunscreen on. Me. Years, it's just been a, a great honor to work with you. You're really, you're really great to work with. Well, yeah. you know what? You're pleasant to work with as well. <laughs> you know, teamwork makes a dream work, as you've probably heard a thousand times. And Jenny, congratulations on your last broadcast and all of your hard work here at KYMA. So as the last time as reporters here. I'm Samantha Bird. And I'm Adam Klepp. Jenny Day, back to you in the studio. CBP says they apprehended a migrant mother who then told agents she had been separated from her child while crossing into the United States. CBP says agents then immediately began searching the area near the Morello Dam where they found the body of a five-year-old migrant child who had drowned in the Colorado River. The drowning in body recovery happening somewhere north of the Morello Dam. This is a look at that entire area from the dam up north to where the river splits the border wall is about a one mile stretch. The river can be flowing strongly and be deep before it reaches the dam. Reaction to the news came in on Twitter with Arizona's governor, Doug Ducey, calling it heartbreaking. On the same day as the drowning, I was with Yuma Sector Chief Patrol Officer Chris Clem in the Yuma Desert. He says in the Yuma Sector, migrant deaths are on the rise. Agents recovered 17 bodies from the desert, a 112% increase from last year. Governor Ducey and the state of Arizona have pushed for Title 42 to remain in place at the border. Arizona's lawsuit against the CDC prevented the Biden administration from ending the policy on May 23rd. But humanitarian groups say these actions are causing the increase in deaths because Title 42 closes ports of entry to asylum seekers, pushing the migrants to cross in dangerous areas in between official entry points. All, everybody that's getting expelled is trying again and two or three or four times until either they make it across the border or they perish. So unfortunately, it is directly tied to policies like Title 42. Brad Jones with Humane Borders, which operates out of Tucson, says the record number of migrants coming to the border is proof Title 42 doesn't work as a deterrent to migration. With greater border enforcement is that it, it doesn't really stop migrants from coming, but it prompts them or leads them to take greater risks. On Monday, I asked Chris Clem if he thinks Title 42 is contributing to the rising number of migrant deaths in Yuma County. Uh, exploitation by the smugglers is what's leading to this issue. At the end of the day, uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And with those remaining legal hurdles, most expect Title 42 to remain in place through the rest of 2022 and into the start of 2023. Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Adam Klepp, News 11. If you go to popular crossing spots along the Yuma border wall from the Morelos Dam down to San Luis during the day, this is likely what you'll see, nothing. Yet agents continue to apprehend record numbers of migrants in this border sector. And that's possible because when the sun goes down, that crossing activity goes up. These migrants literally running into the Yuma sector just around 2 a.m. as Yuma continues to see over 1,000 apprehensions a day now happening under the cover of darkness. When the moon is out, the migrants arrive. At night, most cross here where the border wall ends as it meets the Cocopa Reservation. This area has become a makeshift bus stop with local Border Patrol agents giving one-way rides straight to Yuma Sector headquarters. This line is made up of asylum seekers from all over the world. Yuma Sector Chief Patrol Officer Chris Clem says migrants have come from over 40 different countries in June alone. One of those immigrants is Mamuka, who came from the country of Georgia and Eastern Europe, all the way to Yuma, Arizona. 
America is a developed country. You can do business, you have freedom of speech, and work is valued. People from lagging countries run to America to find a new life. While the sheer number of migrants showing up at the border is unprecedented, representatives for local Border Patrol told me crossing patterns shifting tonight is expected every summer, as temperatures can be 30 to 40 degrees lower than daytime highs, reducing risks of dehydration and heat stroke. Yet migrants still say their journey to get here is dangerous. Camillo is from Colombia. He, along with 75,000 migrants from his country, have arrived at the southern border since October 1st. He says while crossing at night avoids the dangers of the desert sun, he is not the only risk he and others face. We all know at night there are more dangers of crime. And yet migrants remain undeterred. They say despite the dangers, fleeing their homes and starting anew in the U.S. is the best way forward for them and their families. I came to the United States for freedom. There is no freedom in Cuba. Here, there is opportunity for people and my son. June 30th marks the end of another month in what is projected to be the biggest year for migrant apprehensions at the southern border in history. By the end of September, agents expect to top 2 million total migrant arrests. In mid-July, Border Patrol will announce monthly apprehension numbers by sector. But based on my trips to the border in June, I don't expect we'll see anything much different than the recent record crossing rates we've seen these last several months. And there are no signs that numbers will go down anytime soon. Reporting in Europe, Adam Clapp, News 11.